Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm here with this Indian Bengali or Bangladeshi Indian bridal eye makeup tutorial. And when it comes to bridal makeup, red and gold is my favorite combination. This is just a perfect look for Bengali bridal look with all those maroon red Banarasi sarees. This will look perfect and i have hooded eyes so along the way i will be sharing with you so many tips and tricks so before starting if you are new to the channel then hi i am nita please take a moment to subscribe to my channel it will mean a lot to me and if you are already a subscriber then thank you so much from the bottom of my heart so yeah without further blabbering let's get started as always i'm starting with my brows first for that i'm taking my anastasia deep brow pomade in the shade ebony and i am drawing the borders of my brows first then i'll be filling them up using small hair like strokes the brush that i'm using is from morphe this is from their morphe xj free star uh, collection and i recently shared with you my updated eyebrow routine if you are interested i will link that video down in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out in that video i shared with you so many tips and tricks to achieve perfect brows each time you do your own makeup so do not forget to check that video out now i'm taking my nyx can't stop won't stop concealer in this shade uh, soft tan i believe and i am cleaning up the borders of my brows so that uh, my brows look well shaped and defined I will mention the products that I am using and their shades and everything in the description but down below so please go ahead and check that out. I am applying the same concealer on my eyelids to prime my eyelids for eyeshadows that is coming up next. I am just blending it out using a damp sponge. This particular sponge is from Obed and Wild. And I'm setting the concealer with a little bit of translucent loose powder so that it does not crease. And now applying a piece of sticky tape right here to achieve that perfect sharp edge. For my eyes, first I'm taking this bright red shade from my Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And I am placing it slightly above my crease. I am creating a new crease for me and you can see my natural crease right across my eyelid and the brush that i'm using is morphe js 15 brush and taking a little bit of little product and slowly building it up because with with this kind of darker shades they tend to become patchy easily and you do not want that so take little by little product and slowly build it up so i'm just connecting those two corners now Now I'm taking this bright coral shade, it has a strong red undertone to it. It is a shade that is between a red and a coral and I am blending out the edges of that, that red eyeshadow that I just applied and for that I'm using the same brush. Take your time with this step because this step is so important. It will give you that smooth gradient look that beautiful feathered out look so do not skip on this step take your time and slowly blend it out until or unless you have that perfect gradient effect i'm reapplying the red shade again because I felt like I lost the intensity during that blending process, so I'm just reapplying the red shade. Taking the same concealer on a lip brush from Puna Store, I'm cutting my crease and I will uh, mention the purchase link of these brushes in the description bar down below, so please go ahead and check that out. Just reapplying the concealer. It's looking pretty good now, 
and uh, now I am going to take this uh, gold shade from the palette and uh, with this flat shader brush from uh, Morphe again I am just applying it all over on my eyelid and I'm just stamping the color I'm not rubbing my brush at all you can use your finger you can use a glitter glue underneath so that the color looks a little bit intense but I'm using a dry brush because I will be using glitter anyway I'm taking this matte black shade from the palette and I'm applying it on the outer V area and again I'm following the same rule here that means I am slowly building it up because I do not want any kind of patchiness and I am uh, kind of creating a V shape and connecting it to uh, connecting it with my cut crease. Taking that matte red shade, I am just applying it between the shimmer shade and the black shade. This step is must for me because it just makes everything look cohesive. And you can see it's also creating a little bit of gradient effect. I don't know what it is called but I personally call this step shading. I'm taking my NYX glitter primer and this NYX glitter in the shade gold and first I'm taking the glitter glue and I am just stamping it with this synthetic fat flat fat flat shader brush on top of the gold shade and now I'm applying the glitter and you can see adding a little bit of glitter just instantly changed the look it just added so much more character to the look so much more diversity you can see it's just looking gorgeous now i'm taking this burgundy shade called uh, it's a not burgundy it's a maroonish red shade and it is called crazy and i'm applying it on the border of the cut crease just to define my cut crease further it is also creating a shadow that way my cut crease will look more prominent this step just is must at least for me i'm drawing a wing here using my elf eyeliner and i always get nervous whenever i'm using an eyeliner on top of my glitter because it sometimes looks really really streaky and here is a quick tip always use a brush tip instead of a felt tip it just applies your eyeliner smoothly on top of your glitter and your eyeliner does not look streaky I'm just tight lining my eyes using my Jordana Easy Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Jet Black. You can use any Kajal pencil or gel eyeliner that you have in your collection. Now taking that matte black eyeshadow, I'm smudging out my entire lower lash line. For that, I'm using this angled brush again from Puna Store. Taking the matte red eyeshadow, I am applying it on the border of the black eyeshadow just to make tie the look together and I am making my lower lash line a little bit smokier that way my eyes will look wider and bigger. I am highlighting my brow bones as well as my inner corners using my wet and wild highlighter in this shade Precious Petals. I'm just elongating the inner corners of my eyes just to make my eyes look wider. Now I'm curling my natural lashes using my Vega eyelash curler and I'm applying a coat of mascara. This is my Maybelline Colossal Volume Express mascara. For my falsies, I'll be using this Gala lashes from Case off camera. 
and here is the final eye look I truly love the how the entire look came together don't you think it's just appropriate for brides please let me know your thoughts about this look in the comment section down below it will mean a lot to me and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you guys learned something from today's video. If you have any video requests, then feel free to comment down below. I'll be more than happy to make it for you. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, then please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar down below. So please go ahead and check that out. So yeah, see you soon with a brand new video. Till then, bye and take care.